Hello everyone, welcome to ABC Tutorial and uh, thank you for watching ABC Tutorial video and keep subscribe this channel. So uh, before starting this video, I would like to uh, request you if you are still not able to um, learn bootstrap then you can see my bootstrap playlist because to complete this part you have to understand bootstrap and to complete this playlist you you need to know bootstrap actually because in this full project i will use bootstrap so if you never know bootstrap still then you can see my bootstrap playlist what uh, link i will put inside the video description so today this is actually point of sale part two so point of sale you know actually point of sale is a big things and uh, sometimes it's a complex thing and in this project i will cover point of sale inventory and uh, super shop management actually how to sell product and invoice and how to add product and how product uh, uh, subtracted from the your uh, inventory so uh, to do this i will uh, i will i will do everything step by step like my previous playlist uh, uh, e-commerce playlist so so in this uh, playlist i will show you everything from scratch to advanced level but um, today i will show you how to set up a template into your project and how to use a template and how to download a template so today i will download a template called sb admin so you already know about sb admin i think so uh, one thing i would like to uh, tell you that if you want to if you want to download my code you can go abctutorial.com or you can go this community page uh, which is abctutorial.com community and this is my website abctutorial.com you can download your code in to this uh, website so from this website so sb admin to go to download sb admin and download sb admin to template it's downloading so it's downloading so till that i i can uh, i can open the uh, visual studio and create a project so open your visual studio i'm using 2013 you can use any version no problem so here create a project and name point of named here your project name so create project inside your any destination this is actually mvc project what I, I i would like to create so project is creating so see already our sb admin project downloaded so i i use this um actually i will use this template so this is a template so you can see the template this is the template so see here previously i downloaded this thing delete this and extract this file Go to inside this. Copy all the code, no, all the file actually. So see here. We just go to Visual Studio and see here. Project is uh, already uh, created, and I will create a folder name template. Okay. Inside the template folder, I will name sp admin 2 so inside this project go to inside the sp admin uh, folder 
to sbadmin2 folder what I created and paste the copied files. So see all the files uh, already added here. So run this project. So see, uh, this is our uh, default template. Uh, when you create a new project, then it by default it, it has created. So uh, I will replace this template using our this SB admin template. So for this, I need to go go to this. SB admin templates inside index HTML. Open this and control A copy. Copy and after copying this code, uh, we will uh, go to shared layout page. What which layout we are using right now? This layout. So I will. Uh, replace this layout by our template layout so just copy it uh, just uh, comment out this previous code so below just paste this code and go and see here we have a reference but in here our reference is different so it's admin 2 this is vendor vendor Font or some free CSS all mean all all mean CSS. So copy, drag and drop this one and and this is web link so no problem here. So CSS so go to CSS uh, mean dot CS this one. So So in below we have few references so I, I would like to replace vendor by this code this reference because okay vendor will replace by this and in this selected code. So see instead of vendor we have template admin to vendor i mean this reference and we have um admin to so before this we have to use this so now just reload this page okay here is error we never use render body so we have render body here Sorry. this is our render body so use this render body here so if we use this render body here then we need to cut this codes I mean middle of main page code paste copy this code without this just reference keep only reference and head text things in layout file place the render body and all other codes without reference i will move this code to home index home index because this is actually our home index method is running here so paste this code and now check yes yes this is the template and directly this template is working right now properly see this template and this template is 100% same so we will continue all the things by this template
so this will be our uh, template actually in this POS system so I will use this template and we will work on this template in next videos it's just a, um, in this part till till that I just show you uh, how to set up template and how to download template set up template and how to adjust it to your project so thank you very much and uh, uh, in this project I will use bootstrap with widely if you don't know bootstrap then uh, watch my video what link I will provide inside the comment box or uh, inside the description box so you can learn bootstrap widely so in next part in point of sale I will uh, I will show you something so just keep subscribe and keep your eyes in abctutorial.com or abctutorial channel thank you very much